Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just wanted to give you an update on the Derek Coleman situation. And now everything I got was from the actual live press conference that the Department of uh, the Bellevue Police Department gave uh, because of all the requests by the media. So from what I'm understanding, from what uh, their report said, is that uh, Derek Coleman was driving his uh, pickup at a high rate of speed. He struck another car from behind, which caused it to go up on the embankment and flip over. Uh, his car also went up on the embankment, turned to its side, not all the way over. There were three witnesses who saw the accident. Um, after the accident, uh, Derek Coleman left the accident scene barefoot, and about four minutes later after the police responded, they, went to the, they were at the site, they got descriptions from the witnesses describing what he was wearing. They, uh, one of the officers uh, was patrolling the area in his car, saw Derek Coleman standing on the side of the road uh, about two blocks away, bare feet, and he pulled up to him. And at that point, Derek Coleman came up to him and then he detained him because he matched the description uh, that they gave. They took him back to the accident scene uh, to confirm with the witnesses, the three witnesses who were there. They visually confirmed that, that it was him who left the scene. And then they uh, arrested him because in the state of Washington, you're not allowed to leave an accident scene. Uh, so that's that's why the hit and run aspect came into play because you're not supposed to, to flee an accident scene. One person said they thought he was running from the scene. Another person said he was walking from the scene. So they haven't, you know, gotten a consistent testimony in that regard. Um, then after that, there was a, the, the, the officers determined that there was enough cause to bring in a, uh, some kind of a drug, and I forgot the name of the title, some kind of drug evaluation person. They determined it was worthy of testing him, testing his blood for, for alcohol or for other substances. So they did a blood test and a sobriety test. They didn't say which sobriety test. They did not do a breathalyzer, but it was a blood test and a sobriety test on the spot. They did not say as to whether the results of those findings at this point. Um, the, the other driver was a male uh, driver. He was taken to the hospital. He had uh, serious injuries, but not life-threatening. And what else? And for now, he's being suspended indefinitely by the Seahawks until the results of the investigation are final. So I think that's all we have at this point. So that there, it, it'll be some time. They got to do some. It's going to be probably a few weeks before they really piece everything together and know exactly what happened. So um, yeah, but that's it. So. You know, I mean, it doesn't sound good so far. Hopefully there was no substances involved by the fact that the witnesses said he was traveling at a high rate of speed is concerning. They're going to be putting together a reenactment using technology and whatever cameras or whatever might be available to determine how fast the cars were going. I'm sure they have all that forensic stuff to determine that. And uh, at some point they'll, they'll reveal their information, but it's going to be a while, and I don't think we'll expect to see Derek Coleman back in a Seahawks uniform anytime soon. Although I don't know how the how the rules, legalities in this situation, as well as uh, with a football team, how that all works out. Because sometimes players still are able to play while something's still under investigation. But I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to keep you guys updated. But that's that's uh, pretty much. Uh, everything I know at this point. So if I hear anything more, I'll, I'll post it. All right. So keep your fingers crossed that, uh, you know, that everything works out for, uh, Derek Coleman. But at this point, it's not, not a, not a good starting point. So we'll see. We'll see what happens next. All right. Go Hawks.